Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how you can create a custom image background for your team's meetings. And you can see here I'm using a, an image of uh, my school, the junior and senior school, and we can achieve this. We've got this blurred vision here before we click on uh, join a meeting. And clicking on this, you've got some default backgrounds, but you don't have the option to add a custom background. Well, actually, you do, but it's a little workaround. So if I scroll down, I can see all these custom ones, and I've got this one here. OK, so I'm going to show you how you can do this and you can have your own image for the, the custom background. So I'm just going to stop this, uh, this thing here now. I'm just going to close that and close that. So the first thing you have to do is uh, know where the folders are. So as soon as you add a background, whether it's a custom background or not, the first backgrounds, the default backgrounds are saved in this folder here on a PC. So you go to Update to Microsoft Teams background. So I'm just going to go there. I'm going to copy this and paste this in my file explorer. So just typing that out, this opens a default folder where Teams will actually save the custom backgrounds. Now, here you will see another folder called Uploads. This is where we want to save your images and anything you add there can be used as a default custom background for your Teams meetings. Super easy to do, all you have to do is save your images there. Now, um, one little uh, tip I'm going to give you when you actually use the image, if you see I've saved this image, flipped. But when I use it as a custom background, it actually flips it around. So every time you use an image, it will actually flip the image around when you use it in the Teams meetings. So you want to actually save this image flipped. So what I do, you can use any photo editor um, and then just modify it. So I'm going to go to image, rotate. I'm going to rotate the image on the horizontal axis and that will flip that over. Um, you, you especially need to do this if you've got any text like here. I've got the school um, banner here and um, the text of the junior senior school. I don't want that to be seen the wrong way around. So I save it the wrong way around, save it in the folder inside the folder, which I showed you here. So I'm going to save it inside the uploads folder. And that's basically it. You can only save it as a PNG or JPEG. If you're a Mac user, you can do exactly the same thing. You just save your folders in this location here. OK, I don't have a Mac, so I can't demonstrate that. But just adding your images in that area. Again, make sure you flip the image over if you want to, if you want it to look normal, especially if you've got text on there. And um, that's it. That's all you have to do. Now, when you go to Teams the next time and you're going to join a meeting like I'm going to do here, so I'm going to join this meeting. I can click on my blurred background here. And now I've got option for the cutter. And if you scroll down, a little bit tricky here. I, I, it took me a little while to figure out how to do more images here. So I scroll down and there's my image. And just by adding that there, there you go. I've got my cutter. And you can obviously use some of the custom ones which um, Teams has got for you. But uh, I like this one. I like this one because the, the students can actually see that I've you know, got the school background there.